Did you think of it as a pilgrimage when you started out? Yes and no. I thought of it as a kind of... The elements of it which became more and more amplified were perhaps there in the beginning. I thought the idea of a pilgrimage, a pilgrimage, is, a, is supposed to be a sort of part of putting yourself into a position away from normal, the normal stresses and strains, anxieties, annoyances, you know, the hurly-burly of life. And I did achieve that. As I said, I was just really on my own a lot of the time, travelling, um, but I was surprised, I think, at the level of support and companionship and that that word seemed to, uh, I know it's very trendy to say things resonate with people, but in this case, I'll use that word, it did seem to resonate with people. P people seemed to get it. And it wasn't because I think they were hung up on any specific sort of religious connotations. But the idea, you know, you play to an audience of between, you know, and I played to audiences of between five and 200 people. Um, and I don't mean 500, I mean five sometimes. Um, but you don't know what private griefs, bereavements, crises have been going on. And I think they found the idea of me doing this something that they bought into. I really felt that. And that lifted it further. I felt people were able, and as soon as the music starts, and I would tell the story of Bach's uh, um, homecoming and the, his tragic news, I would tell that story either at the interval or, or, or before the concert started or after the first piece or something. And that, I could sense that always made people sit up and bear in mind that often these audiences, I can remember several concerts packed, little churches which were going through crisis because they might have had Death Watch Beetle or there was a, you know, the community was there because they didn't want to see the church fall into ruin. They wanted to see it hit its funding targets and remain a kind of receptacle for community life in whatever, you know, these, these were people who weren't necessarily church, regular church goers, but there it was, a building in the community. They wanted to be there because it was a funding. And they were certainly not music aficionados. And I can remember one particular guy coming up to me after this concert in Leicestershire somewhere, saying, you know, he said, well, he said, I have to say, the idea of an hour and a half of one violin playing slightly filled me with, um, you know, I wondered what we were in for, but he had absolutely got it. You know, there were tears in his eyes. So, it, it did become a very fertile thing. And I realised I was actually um, kind of enacting something that was quite meaningful to a lot of people. Yeah. And did it, did it transform your own sense of, or, or at least change your, your sense of the pieces? Yes, I think it did. I think it deepened them hugely. I think that whilst I would have been aware that there was, you know, this is great, profound music. Bach's music is rarely as much as you see on the surface. You know, but that's kind, of, that's kind of a given with him. You know, you know it's a sort of miracle. But the level to which it was about this kind of arc, I think that would be the single biggest realisation was that this is not six pieces for solo violin, this is one arc, and it's one super piece made up of six instalments, if you like. And that became clearer and clearer and clearer to me. And I would now, when and if I can manage the strength to do it, the idea of playing all six in one day in a venue where nobody speaks, that to me would be that's the kind of ultimate thing. And now that's difficult to manage, but it might be something that if people have got the patience to do with the recordings, you could actually enact, listening to the whole thing from beginning to end. Stephen, you, you, you were talking about the narrative a moment or so ago. Is there anything just that you can do as a, as a producer of a recording to kind of help, help that narrative do you, by changing the, the acoustic or... or, or is, it, is, it, is, is that too kind of uh, naive a question? 
Uh, no, it's, it, it's not. Um, I would say that I have, um, uh, have an, a, a, an effect on the narrative during the editing process. Um, uh, which is a, a huge responsibility, actually. Um, I edited a bit of the Chacon. It was the first thing I edited because we needed it to, to put to film. And actually, I don't think Tom was entirely happy with it. No, I wasn't. It was the first thing that I'd heard, yeah. given that, I, as I said, I'd never listened to anything. Yeah. And I was a bit unsure about it. Uh, and I think that's because it was the first thing I did. Uh, and I wouldn't have chosen to, to do that, um, except I had to because of circumstances. So I, uh, I went back to, to, to the beginning and, and edited it again um, much later on in the process. Um, and it's different, is it's it not? It's very, very different. It's very, very different. But I like it. it. I'm but glad it, to say. But it uses mostly the same material. Does it really? Yes. Right. <laughs> That's good. Mostly the same. So, yeah. does it only take a few... Well, uh, <laughs> I, I, I couldn't put a percentage You're be giving on it. Away too much. Uh, well, when I say it's using the same material, I'm taking stuff from the same yeah, takes. Okay. But uh, you know, something might be a few bars more of this, a few bars less of that. Uh, the the thing that you discover early on when you're editing is that small changes have profound consequences, huge eff effect. Uh, on things. Um, but to come back to your question about narrative, in, in a sense it's very simple. It's, it's like telling a story and what happens next is more interesting than what's just happened. And, and you just keep going with that in mind. Um, it, it's hard to achieve it, but it's a simple uh, concept, actually. Um, and I always feel when I'm editing that I'm telling a story. Sometimes, you know, I literally have visual images. Um, might not be anything to do with, mm. with Bach's story. It might be something completely, completely different. But I, it, I find that really helps to propel the music in the right direction.